young people, girls and boys of this year's six classes. We are delighted that you've decided to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation. We will gather with you and your family in the coming days to witness this important event in your young lives. It's like a second baptism. Your parents decided to have you baptised and become members of God's family and friends of Jesus. They gave you your name. They have given you your values, taught you your prayers, given you unconditional love and delighted to see you grow and develop into young adults. Now it is you who have decided to be confirmed in our Catholic Christian faith. It is you who have decided on your confirmation name. It is you who prepared and learned your prayers and studies. At your confirmation, you will be invited to stand, publicly proclaim this. You will be called by your confirmation name and anointed with the oil of chrism. All the adults, parents, priests and family will pray that the Holy Spirit, which was given to you at your baptism, and more alive as you grow and develop, especially in your teenage years, that you will make wise choices, grow in self-confidence, develop your personality, and nurture your gifts and talents. The confirmation name that you have chosen shows how you value and respect your grandparents and parents, with so many of you choosing their name. Many of you have also chosen the name of saints who have inspired you. We hope and pray that you will be a source of inspiration and goodness, particularly as young people. You can and will be a source of love and joy, of peace and care. Christ's body. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. Yours are the only hands with which he can do his work. Yours are the only feet with which he can go about the world. Yours are the only eyes through which his compassion can shine forth upon a troubled world. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. <laughs>